Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to talk about uh, Plane Maker again in a previous video um, I was explaining why uh, you should use Plane Maker to modify your favorite airplanes. One of my suggestions was uh, the color of the panel. Uh, I showed you in that previous video that I had changed this color of the panel. This is a Piper uh, that I downloaded, that I purchased actually from Shade Tree, and I, I have contacted those people and they gave me permission to modify uh, their airplane and to use their files. So I want to show you how to change this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a program called GIMP. Now GIMP is a is free software. Um, I just downloaded this a couple of days ago. I uh, I've only used it once. So I normally make these changes in Photoshop, but I thought I'd show you how to do this in in GIMP uh, because it's a free program. So we're going to go to here to File, Open. And I've located this file. This is the panel that comes with this airplane. And this would be in the X-Plane directory under that airplane, under cockpit, under panels. That's where you'll find it. So you're going to open up the panel. Uh, this is how you make the changes. This is really simple. Okay, now I'm not super familiar with GIMP, so bear with me. We need a, a toolbox here, so let's go new toolbox. Well, how about just a new toolbox? That works. So here we open up a toolbox and what we want to do is select the colors we want to change. So we go over here to this tool and we click on it and I'm not even sure what that tool is. I think it's a magic wand in uh, Photoshop but they're calling this the fuzzy select tool. And now we just want to click on the color we want to change. So we click here and you can see it's put this little ant trail around it. If we hold the shift key down, we can select other areas that we want to change. And so just by doing that, I have selected one, two, three, four areas. And I just want to change the color. I don't like this. So now we go up to color and there's several things we can do. We can go to color balance and that opens up this window and all we have to do is change this color. We can move this around and as you can see there's a multitude of colors that you can change. It's very simple. Once you get the color you like uh, by moving these values you just click OK. But we'll cancel that. Another way to do this is go to color hue and saturation and here we can just take this color and just change it. Maybe we want it darker. We just make it, we just we just want a nice gray. So we just move everything over here. And you know what? I really kind of like that. I like just the neutral color. So we're going to click OK. So now we just want to save this because we like the neutral color. So we're going to deselect. So let's go up here to None. And then we go to File, Export As. And it'll give you this option here. We can change the name now. Let's change it to uh, oh, Panel Final. There we have it. We click Export. And I'm not sure what any of this stuff is here, but I'm just going to click Export. It has been saved. So let's go take a look and see if we can't find that. Okay, so let's see. I'm on my K drive here, X Plane aircraft purchased Piper cockpit panels and there's the panels here's the final and now we have the cockpit with the darker color we want so that's pretty darn simple isn't it so I suggest if you want to uh, start diving into this this is a nice way to go GIMP like I said before it's a free program it's very easy to use. I've only used this twice and you saw how quickly we picked that up, although I am familiar with Photoshop so I understood some of these things. We're going to just uh, discard the changes and now let's see. To find GIMP we're just going to go to Google 
you Google GIMP, and if you want to go to GIMP.org, uh, downloads. Don't go to these other places. Sometimes they will add stuff to your download and you'll find yourself changing some things. So go to GIMP. Make sure you're at GIMP.org. Download GIMP. Save the file and off you go. You're ready to start making changes to your airplanes and who knows what you may come up with. So I hope this helped you and encourage you yet again to uh, get into Explains Plane Maker and start modifying your own airplane. If you liked this, please click the like button. If you'd like to leave a comment, I'd really appreciate that. And thanks again for watching. God bless.